Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today I've got something Squeezimals related as you can tell by the title of this video and um, this is Squeezimals series 2 but before I show you these little cuties a little disclaimer before I show you them um, I actually had to purchase these off the Amazon on the US website as the UK don't sell the series tool yet and I did message them on Instagram the other week and they did say that there was coming to the UK but I didn't get another reply to saying when so hopefully they will be out just in time for Christmas because it is literally around the corner Um, if not there might have to be a little present you get after Christmas because I don't know if you bought them now if they'd come on time in Chris for Christmas but they are great little presents to add for little stocking fillers and series ones out. So if you are new to them, then you can get still series one out in the UK. But at this moment in time, we can't get series two, which is quite sad. Um, the toys in the UK have been struggling to get get to us for some reason, and I don't know why. But without further ado, I'm going to show you some of the squeezables I've bought now. I only bought a few because I wanted, I've wanted i never bought off the US Amazon. So I wanted to see if they was going to turn up on time and they've turned up. So I'm quite happy at that. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to show you these little cuties. So this is from the Series 1. I know this isn't Series 2, but I wanted him for a special reason why. Because there's a Series 2 of the sloth. So this is Sam and the Sloth, Sloth, this is series one. It's quite tricky to get in the UK, so he's still quite new for us. Um, but this is one of them and he looks really cute. I love the embroidery and the details in these because I have done a few videos on these before. Um, they're actually my favourite squeezy toy. They're really nice, they're slow rising and they are so cute and adorable. Um, this is Simon and he's not on the checklist. They all come with a checklist and a name. So there's the checklist. I will take a picture of um, the checklist right at the end of the video. So you can have a little look at some of the characters um, you can get. And especially from series one if you want them first. And if you can get your hands on series two. I will take a picture of the checklist from series two. So this is. Simon the Sloth and he looks really cute and adorable. I love the embroidery they use on, the, on these plushies and I love the little star embroidery in the eyes and they all have different coloured eyes and Simon here, he has brown embroidery and they all have these little pink embroidered cheeks and he just looks really cute, really soft, fair and sewn really well and really squishy and cute. I absolutely love them. Um, I've actually done a few of these on my channel and I'm going to do some more. So this is Sam and the Sloth. Now I'm going to show you, I think it's called Simon actually. Let me have, a, I think, I, yeah I think he is. Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope I haven't got his name wrong because he's not in the checklist. Um, so now I'm going to show you the other Sloth and this one is from Series 2. So we've got, da 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 da. This cutie one, I absolutely love the colour of this sloth. I love the um, feel of him, or hair, uh, and I love the colour scheme and the turquoise embroidery in the eyes. And I just think she looks awfully really cute. I'm going to put her as a she actually and put her next to Simon. And I think they look really cute together. She's got this lovely turquoise fur. Really nicely embroidered um, turquoise eye and she just looks really nice and standing side by side. They look really cute together and I love them. Um, the fur is really soft and she also is very squishy. When you first get them they are a bit like hard but then once you give them a few squeezes it gets a bit softer and I just like the fact that they're in a plush form. And the squishy toys because I'm not really keen on the firm ones. This is the new checklist for series two. And they all look really adorable. I'm pretty much going to get all, pretty much nearly all of them in series two. As I did stop with a few in series one. And I'm still going to get the odd one or two still left to get in series one. But I'm pretty much going to get all of the series two. And let's figure out what our name's called. Samantha the Sloth 
and she just looks absolutely adorable. That's what she looks like in her little picture. She looks really, really cute. Um, she just feels really soft and she looks adorable. So I'm going to put her um, side by side with Simon because they look really good together. And now I'm going to show you another one. And this one is one of my favourites and this one's called Zachary the Zebra. Um, like I said, I'm going to take a picture of the checklist um, right at the end of the video um, as a little sh slideshow to show you series one and two so you can have a little look at and see which one you may like and which ones you may want to pick up. So this is Zachary there. He looks really cute. And I love the light blues and pinks and purple stripes on the side and i absolutely love series two and he's quite hard as well but then once you get like squishing him and you can really squish him into a little ball like that he slow rises like that and he just looks so cute i love his faded little afro like it's like a pat the like pastel colors in a purple at the front there and then a little bit of blue on the side and he's also got a really nice um, dark blue embroidered eye they're also in the same which looks really and he looks really cute a little nose navy blue ears little feet and then at the back he's got a little navy blue tail and that's made out of fell and it's so um, real strong so that's Zachary the zebra now I'm going to get on to the next one now these two are my absolute favorites because the, the squeeze the moles have never done fluffy ones so first of all I'm going to show you this one and this one is a fluff ball it looks really cute it's got really nice rainbow colours and it's really floaty and it's got really cute purple um, eye colour and I just love the fact that you can even they've even sewn in the mouth there now these vary in colours because like sometimes you might get the yellow at the back here or you might get the blue at the back there um, and I just think it looks really cute they're a little bit smaller in size but the fair adds up for the size of them so if you can see there's a quite a big size comparison but with them being so fluffy and big they actually look better and um, bigger in size and but that's no big deal I still think they look absolutely so cute and adorable and one more little thing is they're not as squishy because they are a bit smaller but with them being a bit more unique with the fluffiness of them I think they look absolutely amazing I like how you can swish it and it does loads of little things and this one's name's called let's have a look fluffy fairball and this is what it looks like in its picture there it's really rainbowy um, and it looks real cute and so that one's that fluffy one and I love the fact that you can still see the embroidery in in the faces and I like the fact that they've done fluffy ones and not just the same kind of shapes so we'll put that one there next to the zebra and that's the checklist that I came off um, by accident but I'm going to take a picture of that at the end so you can see them and then the last little fluffy one I want to show you which is absolutely so cute is this pastel coloured one she is so cute I wanted these ones because they match really well like that one matches really well with that one and then I've got the two sloths and then I'm going to get the others of the rest of the series too so stay tuned to my channel if you want to see the rest of them getting collected um, so I'm going to put this one aside here and she is really cute. She's got blue embroidered eyes and these lovely pastel colours. She's, um, her fair is a little bit shorter as you can tell. This one looks like it's got like a rainbow beard and then this one's just like cute and flirty. Um, cute and flirty and it flirts around and it's really cute and it's really soft and they genuinely do feel really soft the fair feels really nice quality and they've got these lovely pastel colors Um, you might get maybe a little bit of the light pink at the top the light blue at the bottom um, depending and all overall i just think 
she looks really cute. She didn't have an embroidered mouth, but it doesn't matter. She's just got these cute little blue eyes popping out of the fair there. And she just look absolutely adorable. I love the pastel colours on this one. Um, they're a lot more subtle and they're just, she's just really cute. And her name is called Fluff Fairball and that's what she looks like there. Um, she looks like she's got like a bit of orange in there, but that doesn't matter. She still looks absolutely so cute. Um, and I just think these would look really nice as little presents for Christmas because they're only cheap. I think they're only like seven seven dollars or something like that off the Amazon website. And she's soft and squishy as well. She's just a bit smaller. She's the same size as this one, but obviously this fair's a lot longer. And then that's the size comparison with this one. But they all look so cute. They look really cute. And I hope you can get your hands on these. Um, I hope that they do come to the UK soon. And I'd love to get the blind boxes. But I'll be definitely showing you some more on my channel. And even now I got these from the US. And they are scented. As you, they've got like a berry smell to them. So the scented, the squishy, the cute and adorable, the plushies, you can't go wrong with them. The cheap and the lovely to add is little presents for birthdays, Christmas and whatever. I will be getting some more. And this is some of the series one. So this is like the little dog. I've shown you some of these, so I'm not going to show all of them. And we've got a little rabbit here. And then I've got a little penguin. And then I've got three more. I've got here and there's another little bird one there. Um, Miller the monkey, Sophia the sheep and even though these are from America they still keep the scent so that's really good considering how far they travel from. Um, but I hope you can get your hands on series two and I hope they come out in the UK soon um, as I'd really like to get some more. If not, I am still going to buy them from America and get them that way. But hopefully they will be out for everyone to collect. And I really hope you can get your hands on them. I'm done with this review. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I am going to post a few more stuff. If you're into Pokemon stuff, I've got some Pokemon stuff coming soon. And I've even got a few more Jurassic World stuff to come. As you can tell, I do bring some Squeezimals, Salvanians from Pokemon. Jurassic World stuff. I do a big mixture of toys on my channel. I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded and I'm going to try and keep on top of that. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this review on these little cuties. I hope you can get your hands on them and give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, hit that alarm bell and I hope to see you again on the next video and stay tuned to the end so you can have a look, quick look at the checklist or just give this video a pause and you can have a look that way but I always take a picture of these so you can have a look at them in detail and see which character you like and I think there's like 16 to collect in each series and um, I could be wrong but I think it's roughly around that so there's quite a lot to collect and I hope to see you on the next one guys on the next video bye bye